Term Down is a neat little ASCII timer and stopwatch, and that's all it does, but really, that's all it needs to do, so I thought it'd be cool to show you guys nonetheless. So, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm aiming for 1k at preferably sometime mid next year, so any help would be absolutely amazing. So, now that's out of the way, let's get started. Being a fairly small app, the GitHub page for Term Down is also quite small. There's only like a couple of things on here. There's a basic way to use it, and then the man page or the help page or whatever, and how to install it. So it's just a Python application, so you can install it with pip. So if we do that in my terminal, that would just be pip install. Oops, I'll zoom in on that so it's a bit easier to see. Term it down. I've already got it installed, so it'll just try to upgrade it. And yeah, basically, the way that this works is fairly simple. So if you don't give it a time, it'll act like a stopwatch. So if we just run term down, then that'll just start counting up. And as you can see, it's got this neat little ASCII number in here. So we can zoom in on that a bit more and it's gonna uncenter it weirdly because ST is weird like that sometimes. And if we quit that out, oh geez, the text is massive. Okay, so if you don't like the ASCII text, you can disable that, but you're a weird person if you actually do that. But in the man page, or the help page, I believe it is, I don't think it actually has a man page. Term down, or oh. man term down. No, it does not. Okay, so if we do term down dash dash help, I believe it was. So if you want to disable that ASCII, then you can do dash dash no dash figlet. So if we bring that up in another terminal, so term down dash dash no dash figlet, and it'll look something like this, and it'll just run the numbers normally so you can barely see that we can zoom in on that a bunch because it's just going to use whatever your terminal font size is so it's going to be a bit difficult to see and yeah basically it doesn't really do much else so if you've got a terminal bell then that will actually run at the end of the countdown i've got that disabled for very obvious reasons because that is insanely annoying so you won't be able to hear that on my system but if you have one, it'll run by default. So if you want to disable that, then you can just use dash dash no dash bell, and then it won't use the bell, which is probably for the best because that sounds really annoying. Or if you want to do something like, actually I haven't shown you how it works in just the basic use. So if you give it a time, we can say let's just something short, like three seconds. And then we run that, then it'll just count down to when that's done and jump back to your terminal. So up here, we've got the option to have it blink when it finishes. So if we do that now, we do dash B and I'm not sure what it's gonna do when it does that. Oh, it just makes your screen flash a bit. Okay, I guess that would get your attention, but there are better ways to do it. So if you want to say, for example, play a sound after you're done. You could do something like term down, uh, whatever time you want, let's say like three seconds. And then you could just run a command after it. So you want to like use, I don't know, whatever random thing you use to play music, like A play, FF play, or whatever other thing, socks, and just sound.mp3. I don't actually have a file in here called that, but if you did want to just play a sound at the end, you could just do that. I don't typically like having sounds playing, so the way that I typically use it is I just send a notification. So notification, uh, notify dash send, then what I want to put in there. So like notify, I guess, and hello world. So now we'll see when that finishes, it'll bring up a notification up here. And yeah, that's pretty much all I'd need if it, I want to get my attention with it. If you want to change how long the red numbers appear for, because if we run it for 10 seconds, I believe, then it doesn't start showing the red numbers until five. I'm going to try to drag the time out until it gets to that point. No, I guess it starts at three seconds. Yeah, okay. So if you want to start it earlier, let's say you want to start it at five seconds, for example, you can use dash C and then the number of seconds you want it to start at. So if we started at five seconds, for example, and we can run the timer for six, and then when we hit five, it starts showing the numbers in red. So if you have some reason why you need the last certain amount of numbers to be important, then you can do that. So you don't actually have to just specify the number of seconds. If you want to specify it in hours, minutes, or you want to give 
I don't actually know how it's going to work if you present it with a time like this. It will probably count down to that time. So let's actually try that. So uh, what is that? Now I need to work out how numbers work in my head. 34. Okay, so that should count something to the next minute. Yeah, it'll count down to when it actually reaches that time. So you can't actually see it on my screen, but it is uh, 8.33 right now. So it's counting down to the time that it turns to 8.34. And as we can see, when this finishes in a couple of seconds, we will see, yeah, it's, okay, my thing doesn't update at the right time. But anyway, it counted down to that time. So if you want to run timers to certain points in the day, you can do that. Obviously, all of this stuff can be done in other ways. Like you could just use cron jobs to do all of this, or you could write a little loop in your terminal. But really, most of the time, that's just way overkill. And you might as well just use this little program because it's like maybe a meg. So it'll save you a little bit of time. So you might have noticed that while term down was running, it was actually updating the title of my terminal. So if you want to disable that, you can use this option here, this dash W option or this full length version of it here. So I don't know why you would ever want to do this, but this program has integration with things like eSpeak and Say. I guess if you have problems actually seeing, this makes sense. So what it does is it'll actually use text to speech to read out the numbers at key intervals. You could also, if you'd rather not do that and have your own setup for it, you can actually do this exact command here. So you can actually get what time the current timer is at and run a command at that point. So basically what exact command does is it'll run every single second. So it'll try to run whatever you give it every second and then basically it'll just use that. So if you want to do something like send a notification every five seconds, for example, then you can do that and that's neat. Or if you want, you can play a sound or if actually that might make more sense because even if you do have sight problems, I reckon text-to-speech is still probably pretty annoying. Maybe someone likes it though. So that's also an option. So basically all you do is you pass in just a normal bit of shell script, so nothing special. So if, I'll try to do some live coding right now. I'm very bad at it, so I, I don't tend to do it often. So let's just see how this goes. So the first option is the what is the first option? That is the time remaining. And the second option is the time elapsed. So value zero is the time remaining. Sorry, there's a fly on my leg and that is really annoying me. So if we say at five, for example, then we can run, actually put that on the correct side. Let's say we want notify, I can spell, dash send, Hi, hello, world. And then we end it properly and give it a number of seconds to run for. Let's say we run it for six seconds. Then after one second, it should send the notification, but it didn't because I must have written the command wrong. I don't want to just leave you guys without this working because that would probably show off the application fairly poorly. And I have my head in the way. Yeah, you can see the notification up there. So. At five seconds that appeared and yeah, you can do things like just anything you want to do really. If you want to play a sound, if you want to, I don't know, put a notification there like I do, then you can do that. And I think that's really most of what you'd want to do with this application. You also have the option of actually just using it as a clock if you want to. So if we do term down dash Z or dash dash time, or you can also give it a time format if you'd rather do that. We'll put my webcam up there again. And we'll see now that it will just display whatever time it currently is. And it is 8.44 apparently. It displays it a bit weird. It doesn't put a space between some of the things. So some of it looks a little odd. There you go. There's a better look at it. It's fine now, but earlier in the day, I did see that it was acting a little strangely. So I use this program with a little script that I've got because I'm lazy and don't want to ever actually give the options that I want to use. So if we go to my scripts folder, then basically that is a script in here I've got called, where is it? Timer, I believe it's called. So basically it's just a neat little D menu thing like I always do. So we echo nothing into D menu and that will bring up D menu. So I can then use it as a prompt and then I just 
get the amount of seconds that I want to go for or, or the amount of minutes that I want to go for. And then I pass in a message as well. Then I open up the program in ST and then send a notification when it's done. So pretty much all I use this for because I don't particularly want to get out my phone just to do this. I will just set a timer for when I'm cooking food. That's pretty much all I use it for because I don't really have much of a use for a timer. If you have some other use for it, I guess there's probably something there. But for me, just having it for that is good enough. Like I don't particularly want to get out my phone just so I can set a, a timer on it. If I can just do that from my terminal, then that's fine. And it saves me a couple of seconds here and there. So if you like this video, remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. If you got any other random little applications you want me to check out or maybe just something more substantial. While something like this is cool, there are some massive applications that are also really cool as well. So if you've got anything you want me to check out, let me know and I'll maybe check it out. I don't know. We'll see how time goes. So if you want to see those videos when they come out, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. And also up on that corner, there will be the playlist that this video is in. So go check that out. I reckon it'll be like software showcase or something like that. I'm not sure at this point. And yeah, down below, I've got my Discord and my library link. So go check those out as well if you want to see my notifications on Discord or you want to see my content on a platform that's not YouTube. So I think that's pretty much everything for me and I'm out.